Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having an awesome day. Um, I'm thinking... Eden. Eden's fun. Let's do Eden. The thing I like about Eden, Eden mixes things up, you know? Yeah, you do a little bit of everything as Eden. And, uh, we start with the ability to fly an Explosivo, which is actually pretty awesome. Not bad. Suicide King, not so good, but uh, how are our stats? Our rate of fire could use a little love. Our damage is great. Speed is, I don't know how our speed is. Our speed is great, but it's because we have the pony. So maybe our speed is good. Maybe our speed is like super bad. I honestly have like, oh, all right. Where's the invisible one? Get away from these explodey guys. Because they are about to explode. Where's the... Okay, I see him. He's over here. Causing mischief. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, we need to not get hit as well. Because this is an XL floor. <laughs> There's a deal with the devil on the line here. And if we get hit... There we go. Whew. Man. Little scary. We need that... Uh, we need some spirit heart protection. And we need it, like, sooner rather than later. Uh, yep. Thankfully... The pony gives us the ability to fly in speed so we can avoid some things that were... I hate my life. Um, okay. Well, I mean, Tech Zero is great. Unfortunately, our deal with the Devil Chance is pretty much ruined on this floor. And our, uh... Uh, yeah, I want nothing to do with you. And our... Rate of Fire leaves something to be desired. I mean... If only we'd started with, like, one spirit heart. <laughs> there's our boss fight. And a key. What do we got in here? Forget me now. Now there's an interesting concept. Do you give up the ability to fly to get more items? And what is this? Does this count as the, the chest one? Or... I don't know. What is this? What... If we take the forget me now... Do we start on the first floor or on the second floor? Or do we get another XL floor? There's another interesting question. And we don't know the answer to it. I think we may have to do it for science. <laughs> Ooh, stay away from that. Dang troll bombs. And Explosivo, unfortunately, is not super good against Littlehorn. Because he, uh, he teleports away. And then it makes the Explosivo shot fall off. So, not super great there. But, I mean, as far as Eden starts go, it's not bad. Cat of Nine Tails is also great. And then we got a Ragman. Much easier to deal... Aw, oh, you jerk. Now we're definitely not getting a deal. But he's dead. Okay. So, we got Mom's Pearls. I think what we should do is we should explore this whole floor. At least long enough to find the shop, which we have. No bombs so far, unfortunately, but plenty of keys. I'd love to buy a spirit heart, but that is uh, not going to happen. There is no spirit heart in the shop. Okay. Hmm. So now we got questions because, I mean, that forget me now. I want to make it work for us. I really do. But it does mean giving up the pony, and I don't know. I mean, the pony's an awesome item to have early in the game. You know, sure, if we get, we could get, like, uh, Lord of the Pit or any number of different things that would allow us to fly anyway without the pony. Uh, yeah, don't be stupid. Go get these red hearts. There's no reason to just leave them behind. Okay. I think we're going to do it, though. We've explored the whole floor. For science, let's see what happens. Do we start over on floor one? We do. Basement one. Okay, so we're going to get... Uh, we basically got two items out of that. Loki's horns is okay. And our speed uh, is, is average, I would say. Can't fly. Oh, dude, Loki's horns with uh, tech zero. Never mind uh, uh, when I said just okay. Like, this is actually amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty cool synergy. I like it. Uh, okay. 
So, now, Loki's Horns, I believe, is luck-based. So, I don't think it's gonna... I, I think it's gonna trigger more the higher our luck stat gets. So, uh, I and I think... Isn't uh, Mom's Pearls a luck upgrade? I think we got a luck upgrade already. Which is helpful, you know? But, this gives us a good chance to make a deal happen. Because we have not one, but two floors to get there. Still a penny short, but we got some bombs. Let's uh, swing into the shop here. I just want to buy one spirit heart. That's all I really want. Dude, there are no spirit hearts in this game. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? All right, try this. Well, we found our spirit heart, but we didn't get our five cents. It's like there's a conspiracy against me to prevent me from getting spirit hearts. I protest. Hmm, okay. So where in the world? I have no idea where our uh, second secret room could be, which is actually something that I would love to find because there's a, a decent chance that there would be spirit hearts in there, but it, it's all irrelevant because this Larry Jr. always drops spirit hearts when it dies anyway, so it's all good. Grab that. What do we got? PJs. Hey, all the spirit hearts we could ever want then some. Sweet. So we're basically guaranteed a deal on this floor. Like, uh, I mean, we have so many spirit hearts. I cannot imagine a world in which I would lose this many spirit hearts on the basement too. Like, if I do that, I'm turning in my Isaac card. You. Thank you. And rubber cement? Sure, why not? I suppose that could... Ooh, I love this synergy with uh, Tech Zero. I like it a lot. Pretty cool. Okay, so we got kind of a... We got like a bouncy ball sort of synergy going here. I'm liking it. I'm down for it. I think it's pretty nifty. We'll take it as far as we can. And then the explosivo ones are kind of like this weird, goofy color. All right, let's check this out. We probably should have checked the other room above this first. Just, oh, teleport to the deal. Eww, deal's kind of garbage. Got a couple of spirit hearts. Maybe we roll deals with the angel. We'll see. I'm not really interested in giving up health. I mean, the shovel, maybe, I suppose you could make an argument for it. Maybe when we get back there, I'll take the shovel. I don't know. It's tempting. Question marks are annoying. But now we got, like, electricity bouncing all over the place. All sorts of crazy stuff going on. There we go. Hey, we're up to 10 cents. Lovely. Oh, hi. Kind of came out of nowhere. There we go. Uh, one bomb for a bomb and one bomb for two keys? Or a bomb for a bomb and a key? I think we trade a bomb for a bomb and a key. That's basically just free resources. Okay. Spawner's dead. Ooh, you got me on that one. Fair shot. That was fair. I'll, I accept it. It's okay. But Rubber Cement and Tech Zero is doing a great job of clearing these rooms in a timely manner. I'm liking it a lot. I don't think I've ever had this synergy. And we got Ragman again, because of course we did. But look at how quickly he dies. That's beautiful. Hey, tears upgrade. Very much needed. Gets us down to eight. And you know what? I'm gonna take the shovel. I'm gonna take the shovel because I want deal with the devil precedent. After further review, I have decided. And who knows? Maybe it'll give us a... Wow. First attempt. Look at that. Crawl space. Not too bad. Uh, kind of a bad crawl space, but hey, free stuff is free stuff. You can't complain. So now, if we're going to use the crawl space, or, or if we're going to use the shovel again on this floor, I think the best use of it would absolutely be to attempt to, like, get out of a cursed room for free or something like that. Teleport down after you've, you know, finished the floor or something along those lines. Um... Sure. Blow that up. Oh, yeah. That's definitely worth spending the bomb to get across. I'll take it. Damage upgrades. Sure. Why not? We'll do this. 
I'm not afraid. I'm not at all afraid. This run is actually turning out to be pretty awesome. Like all, all the little electrical bouncy balls flying all over the place. I don't even know what this reminds me of, but it's it, I'm I'm in favor of it. Look at that. Okay, let's try going to the right. Okay. There we go. Nothing. Got a Larry Sr. And another one. And uh, two bombs for two bombs and a chance at, like, Magic Mush or something. That seems worth it. It was worth an attempt. We didn't get much out of it, but the only thing we wasted was our time. Which, honestly, you know, with the Forget Me Now, it's unlikely that we're going to make Boss Rush or something like that anyway, so whatever. And there is a Cursed Room on this floor, so I think you want to save that for last. And use the Shovel to get out of there for free, so you only take half a heart of damage. Unless, you know, we get the ability to fly or something like that. In which case, uh, even better. Then we go in there and we take no damage. Ooh, yeah. Didn't quite thread the needle on that one. That's all right. A speed upgrade would be nice. Another tiers upgrade would be nice. The more shots we have flying and bouncing around the screen, the, uh, the more Tech Zero works for us and does good things. Mm. Okay, we'll give it a go. Killed our range a little bit, but did give us a tears upgrade and a damage upgrade. I think we're going to roll with the D8. Why not? The D8's a little fun. It's crazy. It can lead to some ridiculously powerful runs. It can also lead to some, like, really garbage runs while you're waiting for that perfect reroll, but still, certainly better than the shovel. Little Steven is uh, pretty bad. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to go back to the cursed room. We're just going to head down. I'd like a chance at boss rush. I think there's a, a viable chance that we'll have a strong enough run to to give Ga uh, to give Boss Rush a really good chance. So I want to make sure that we have enough time to get there, if at all possible. And we're a little bit behind schedule, but not to the point where we can't make it up. Assuming we don't just, like, accidentally take every wrong turn ever. Because we're clearing rooms very quickly. All right. Tears up, damage down. Not so good, but good speed now. Oh, I stepped in the creep. I regret everything. Ah, there we go. So swing in here. Check this. We got shielded tears. Very nice. And yeah, I'd say that was worth it. Two keys for... Well, actually, two keys and we got all of our keys back. And then some extra consumables on top of that. Not too bad. It's all good. Uh, let's put a bomb right here. I would like that black heart. Thank you. So, yeah, I think we've got a, a pretty strong run here. I'm very much in favor of what we've got so far. Ah, uh, that was a pretty bad cursed room. Uh, check this again. Ooh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Horrible speed, but great damage and uh, an amazing rate of fire. We've broken the tier cap now, but our speed is so bad. <laughs> it's, our speed is just, like, atrocious. But I think with our other stats as high as they are right now, I think we can kind of justify this. Like, we just basically wrecked the hollow. Pageant Boy stinks, but whatever. Uh, I think what I would love to see in here would be like Lord of the Pit. Mm, okay. Tell you what. We'll grab Horror Babylon and I will trade the D8 away for the nail. And the reason I do that is because we've got the tears upgrade and the damage upgrade, which are the two that we wanted more than anything else. And since we can, you know, clear all this stuff very quickly, thanks to our great rate of fire, you might as well. We did get an eternal heart out of it, which is nice. And now we're basically just hoping that we go the right direction, because with our speed as bad as it is, it is going to be kind of hard to make boss rush happen. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I was hoping for a better cursed room there, and it, the game did not provide one for me. I do like getting a black heart, though. That was quite nice. Okay. 
Ooh, those uh, gravity well enemies are just nasty. There we go. Uh, we, we shouldn't grab that battery yet. We should wait. Wait until we have, I mean, we're only one room away from a full charge right now, so we should, we should wait. Where you at, ghost? There we go, ghost is dead. Hey, tractor beam, nice. That's another tiers upgrade. Check this. We got uh, Mama Mega and Omega Penny. I'm gonna buy a battery. Uh, you know what, let's buy the card as well. Question mark card, pretty bad. That's all right, though. I'd say we're in a great spot, other than <laughs> our speed. That's the only thing that's lacking on this run in any way, shape, or form. Oh, hi. There's one of these, uh... Oh, dude. Oh, okay. Oh, the shielded tears prevented his shots from going everywhere. Yeah, I'll take Locust of Famine. And now we're fighting War, who is dead. Gives us a ball of bandages. We're out. We're down to the next floor. We're doing well on health. Everything about this run is looking fantastic right now, I must say. That's not worth it. Let's check the cursed room. Deal with the devil teleport? Nope, just a couple of troll bombs. Okay, let's go this way then. These guys are dying real quick, which I love to see. Also dying real quick. I love finding our item room right off the bat. I dislike our... Item room having Isaac's Jar of Tears in it, which is just horrible. One of the worst spacebar items in the game. There we go. I do like getting more HP, though, thanks to the nail. And the nail does actually give you a speed upgrade, so on boss rush, it won't be that bad. We will have some speed, thanks to the nail, primarily. Okay, you're dead. You're also dead. I love killing enemies that quickly. And yes, I did see the key, and you know what? Whatever, let's just do it. Hmm. Okay. I'm not that worried about the key, is the thing. Is this the depths too? This is the depths too. Dude, we're so far ahead of schedule for boss rush. Like, I think we actually even have time to explore a little bit. Speed upgrade? Luck upgrade. Eh. It's not bad. It's something. Now, unfortunately, I will say, Tractor Beam did ruin a little bit of the synergy with Loki's horn. Because now all shots that come out of me follow the path of the Tractor Beam, but still. Um, do we want to explore anymore? I'm not really that worried about it, honestly. Let's just go for it. You know, we'll be able to kill Mom real quick. I will take the Polaroid. We will check boss rush. Okay. Um. Hmm. Do we want brimstone? Like brimstone's awesome. But you know what? I'm gonna say no, because we've got this really cool synergy going with everything else, and I think brimstone would actually be worse in this case. Because having a three rate of fire is not that good with Brimstone. Like, it's great to be able to fire real quickly, but it's not that great. It's not as great as having broken the tier cap. You lose a lot of that benefit. And then on top of that, we would lose shielded tiers, we would lose explosivo, we would lose tech zero. Like, I think I like... Uh, the run as it is without Brimstone. And I do love Brimstone. It's literally my favorite item in the game. So, um, I mean, I'm not, I know exactly what I'm doing when I'm not taking it. This isn't me not knowing, you know, how good Brimstone is. This is me liking the synergy that we currently have and wanting to preserve it. So we can, you know, and, I, and I, look how kill stuff we're killing. Uh, or look how quickly we're killing stuff. Like, it's not like this is a weak run. Or anything of the sort. This run is absurdly powerful. Thanks to our rubber electrified bouncing balls of doom. And we should actually be using the, uh, the nail. Oh, does the nail, st uh, does that stack? You get multiple damage bonuses per room with the nail. Cause that's kind of what it feels like. 
Or maybe I just forgot to use it up until this point. No, no, no. Not, it doesn't stack. I just forgot to use it until we were halfway through boss rush. Figures, that's definitely something I would do. I just like being slow enough that I can't catch the little aunt, though. Like, our speed is definitely uh, an issue. I think, uh, like, the best possible item for us to get would be, like, Roid Rage. Where is this guy? Like, will you die, please? You're, like, way too far away. You also need to die. Who's next? Death. Piece of cake. Monstro. Also piece of cake. I think with uh, Shielded Tears, we have a pretty good chance at Hush, honestly. We'll take Aquarius. Even if, even with our garbage speed and the problems we're going to have dodging, I think with Shielded Tears, we'll be just fine against Hush. Take that. Head on down. Those are annoying enemies. When you're super slow like we are. Our range actually could use a little bit of love as well. Our range is not great. Yeah, I got hit by the beam because we're slow. And actually, the I, I said earlier we got a speed upgrade with the nail. I'm mistaken. We get a speed downgrade with the nail. Which is horribly, very unfortunate, but it does give you spirit hearts, so I think it's still worth it. Our luck is finally getting pretty decent. We're up to 2.67. That's not bad. This is a library. This is a library. Very nice. Book of Shadows, the Bible, a dude to blow up with a bomb. I'll keep the item that gives me hearts. Because I have a feeling that uh, sooner or later our bad speed is going to catch up with us and cause us to take some damage that I'm not super happy with. Ooh, goat head's nice. Couple of speed upgrades in uh, the deal with the devil. Lord of the Pit, for example. Okay, that was a very, very easy mob trap room. And we got another luck upgrade. <laughs> Our luck is so good. I'm it's like off the charts. I'm very happy about it. There we go. Come on. Grab the money. Isaac's fork, not what we're looking for. I'll stick with the uh, locust of famine for sure. This is yeah, I was gonna say. It's a little rough. How many keys do we have? We do have enough keys to make everything in hush worthwhile. I don't know if we'll have enough keys to do the hush and the chest. As far as opening absolutely everything, but we're going to try. Uh, you know what? We should also really check this pill. Ah, I'm not even going to bother with the other one. I was hoping that would be a speed upgrade. But uh, it obviously was not. Hmm. So, this way then, I guess? Yeah, another dead end. So where are we supposed to go? Is the question. The answer, I do not know. Have we been this way? No. This looks promising then. Yeah, okay. Wasn't much I could do about that. I mean, the, the reality of having super low speed is that we're going to take some hits. Like, there's nothing we can do about that. There's some hits that are going to just be impossible for us to dodge. Eh, that was definitely not worth two keys. But I had to try. Could have been Cricket's head. Ah, fine. What you got? Swallowed Penny? Not what we're looking for. All right, I'm done opening random uh, golden chests now. If it's gated behind two keys, I should probably say no. I will, however, spend one of my 19 bombs to check this. Also look here for a secret room. And then since the game was kind enough to give me two keys out of that stone chest, I will check this golden chest as well. We got our key back and a little bit of money. Nice. So now we got Conquest. Uh, I think you totally take the White Pony. Because it buffs your speed. Not as much as I thought it would. 
Really? You're gonna give me this as a deal? I'll play one of them. Mom's bottle of pills. Wow. Garbage. Full health. Full. Luck upgrade. Walking on sunshine. I mean, we can use that to play another demon judgment for a little while at least. Ooh, there we go. Now we're talking. Um, and then I think we're out. I think we're, I think we're out. And we got one more play of the nail. We're going to take White Pony, though. Because it gives us the ability to fly. And it does give us a speed upgrade, even though it doesn't yeah, give us as much as of, a, of a speed upgrade as I'd been thinking it would. But it's still a speed upgrade. And the thing is, when you have the ability to fly, like, your speed doesn't matter as much. Like, having that ability really mitigates a lot of your, your problems that you have from not being able to fly. So, I think you kind of get the best of both worlds. And honestly, the uh, the effect on the white pony is not bad. This guy's annoying. Okay, anytime you want to pop up. There we go. Thank you for the spirit hearts. I don't know exactly what our HP is. I think we're maybe at, like, nine hearts, I think. All together. One red heart and... Eight spirit hearts or something like that. Sure, we'll fight this. Uh, okay. Teleport to a deal with the devil that's pretty bad, but I'll take the headless baby. Mostly for permanent polar invincibility. I don't think it's a great item. I think it's an okay item. I think it's a slightly above mediocre item. Um, but the big thing is that... It means that I now have no red hearts. And we've already been in here, right? Yeah. So, down we go. We'll go to Hush. We'll give Hush a try. We'll see how it turns out. I've got a ton of money. We got a bunch of keys. Like, why not? We'll give it a try. Check this first. What do we got? Tarot cloth, absolutely worth a purchase. We also have an I'm Drowsy pill, actually. Ooh, ancient recall. What you got? Two of clubs. A Joker card, okay. Ooh, Krampus. Uh, lump of coal, please. Look at that. That's nice. Um, I don't think we need safety scissors. A death card, stars card, tower, stars. I'll stick with I'm Drowsy for now. I think we should donate a whole one cent. Okay. Ah, uh, we have the ability to fly. Uh, definitely take lead pencil, because it's amazing. And you gotta go sad bombs. We now have 80 sad bombs. Unfortunately, we're gonna lose permanent polar invincibility. Because <laughs> if you took fate. Uh, but this means we can trade our space bar item away if we want to. At the moment, I'm not that keen to do it. I'd rather kind of keep what we got at the moment. But this, this, I think this run is gonna be very suited to basically just wrecking Hush. Between Explosivo and our massive rate of fire and all the Tech Zero shots and all that kind of shielded tears, like, we should be just fine here. We may even make it through Hush without taking damage. It's plausible. I think the only attack he has that I'm at all worried about is his little beam attack where he summons the little beams that follow you around. Because there's not much I can do about them. I can't, I don't know if I, I honestly, I genuinely don't know if I'm fast enough to outrun them. I might not be. But he's taking a ton of damage. This is like one of the fastest hush fights I've ever had. We're just stacking up explosivo shots on him, and yep, there's the uh, the beams of light. It appears I can outrun them barely. <laughs> but just barely. Shield in Tears, though, is so good against Hush. Anytime you want to pop up so I can finish you off. There we go. That was like the easiest Hush fight ever. All right, up we go to the cathedral. Who knows? We may even do Delirium on this one. We'll see. I think my normal uh, Delirium rules are going to apply if it gives me the option to do Delirium after I complete the chest. I will consider taking the game up on its offer. 
but only after the chest because I find delirium annoying and not exceptionally fun, honestly. Ah, uh, stone chest. Yeah, we should probably go back for that. What are you? Pandora's box. Eden soul. Ooh, okay. Okay. Hmm. So how do you use Eden soul? I mean, I think the obvious answer is you accumulate enough battery charges, preferably on this floor. There we go. That was easy. That you can take the white pony with you down to the next one. So that's what we're going to try to do. Yeah. Oh, all right. Note to self. Don't go back in that room. <laughs> sure. Paperclip. Actually great. Okay. These guys are all dead. I don't know if there's going to be enough uh, battery charges. Like, I don't know if there's enough rooms on this cathedral to, to fully charge Eden's soul. Unless we get a battery charge or two. Ah, eh, we got a couple. What do we get? Gimpy is great, and Cancer is honestly pretty great. I'm good with this. Cool. So now, we can go back. Grab the White Pony. Gives us a little bit of a speed upgrade, which is really the only reason we take it. And then we head down to the chest with the paperclip, which means we can open on all the golden chests no matter what. I think we want the metal plate. I don't think we want any of the others. No, no, no. Wait a minute. We got sad bombs. Who am I kidding? We definitely want Dr. Fetus. Just kidding. We've got sad bombs. That's that's a very important part of this. Plus, uh, unfortunately, we don't have explosion immunity. <laughs> but we do have sad bombs. So we're going to take Dr. Fetus because, like... And look at the rate at which things die. It's kind of cool. Also extremely dangerous, I will say. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry. You keep your speed downgrades. I'm already barely over one speed. I don't need any more speed uh, problems. Yeah, that, that's the bad side here. We really could use some sort of explosion immunity, either host hat or uh, pyro. I think there should be more items in the game that give you explosion immunity, honestly. I think it should be more than just two. Like, I don't know. That's not what we're looking for. Like, maybe they could create an item that gave you, I don't know. I think there should be, like, more bomb items. Maybe, maybe it's an item that, like, makes your bombs have a random bomb synergy, right? Because there's, like, a billion bombs. One? Mm, whatever. Sure. SMB super fan. That's not a speed upgrade? Are you actually kidding me? Or is my speed, like, actually at two, but then the modifier from the D8 brings it down to... 1.06 because that's actually possible that's not an item that I respect do we have homing bombs that should be bookworm there we go oh boy yeah yeah we have something Something's making my bombs come flying, like, back at me, and I don't know what it is, but I strongly dislike this. I, I don't know what it is. Ooh, crampon fracture. That would have been nice to have if we didn't have... Well, I mean, it's, it, with sad bombs, it's nice to have anyway. But that's going to do it for this run. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.